gave uh, intelligent. <laughs> Sub brick is <laughs> number one level for intelligent. Uh, agility. Probably give myself an extra point there. And luck. I'll diminish a point for luck. Alright. Over here, where do I want? I'll put an extra point in strength. Put another one back into endurance. There we go. Good to see them bullets didn't affect your charm none. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you better than a big horn drop. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Oh, I can grab objects. So essentially, I can ruffle up his his uh his table here and toss his books All around. Right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. A dog. A newspaper. House. House. Um. Demolish. Night. Silencer. Bandit. <laughs> Crush. <laughs> Light. Dark. Mother. <laughs> Human shield. Mm. Sometimes when you give tests like this, you learn more than you was hoping for, and I reckon that ain't always the best thing. Are you judging but I me? Guess maybe it explains a thing or two about your predicament. Don't judge me, Doc Mitchell. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. I think I couldn't disagree with that more. I ain't given to relying on others for support. What? Okay, okay. I ain't given to relying for others on support. Does that mean I I don't like to look for other people to support me? Um I think I'd strongly disagree with that. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'll agree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Uh, I will strongly disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Probably agree. I'm trying to answer these actually kind of truthfully. Almost done here. Ugh. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. It's going to give me a Rorschach test. Actually, um, uh, fun factor. A little bit of a fact. Um, I don't know, how, uh, most of you probably know that uh, I'm currently studying for psychology, I'm a psychology major, and uh, Rorschach tests are so obsolete now, and they're so, they're hardly ever used anymore, because psychologists feel they don't really tell you anything unless you're like really, a really entrenched Freudian, then, <laughs> but other than that, it, it's, it's hardly used anymore. Just kind of see it in TVs and movies. Anyway. What do I see here? An oozing wound. Okay. How about this one? Okay, that definitely looks like a, a space age technology. I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like. <laughs> Last one. Sorry, I just had to put that one. Uh, kind of looks like two cavemen, like high fiving or something. I don't, I don't think it looks like any one of these. A bearded man? I don't see a bearded man. Unless he's got like the most bizarre beard of all time. <laughs> Mushroom cloud. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See uh, if it all seems right. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Great, so I can just totally uh Ignore all of this anyway. Alright, I don't need melee weapons. I will take sneak. Probably important. I like to, I like to uh, sneak around and I like the critical hits that you get from sneaking. I played this, I haven't beaten this game, but um, I played a little bit and I've also played Fallout 3 extensively, so I'm pretty familiar with how things, uh, how things work here. And um, guns, probably important as well. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out Rawr. so I can get a sense of your medical history. Is there anything more that I can toss around? 
Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Ooh, okay, traits. Pilt to destroy. Yeah. All weapons have 3% chance for critical critical hit, but uh, decay 15% faster. Guns fire 20% more quickly, but a 20% less accurate. Uh, one. Oh, While well, wearing glasses, I have one perception, <laughs> or plus one perception without minus one. Good natured, uh, definitely not me. Bandit, kamikaze. Ten actions point minus two thresholds. Throw grenades faster. And trigger discipline. I'm tempted to go for trigger discipline just because uh, the fall or ammo is kind of scarce in Fallout, and every shot counts. So I think it's more important to be accurate with those shots than just to to throw them away. Uh, wild wasteland. Unleash some of those bizarre, silly elements of postal op. Uh, apocalyptic, apocalyptic America, not for the faint of heart or serious of temperament. That sounds awesome. And I think I will go with trigger discipline. Alright, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Not before I rifle through more of your stuff and toss it on the floor. <laughs> you want to see this night nice hat here on the coat rack? Now it's on the floor. What do you think about that, Doc Mitch? Yeah, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Uh -oh. You should have gone through my stuff. Didn't have much choice, I'm afraid. But I understand the sentiment. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Um, okay, don't want to do fall, uh, hark remote. I would probably like to do it on my own time, because it sounds cool, but I don't think it's, uh, you know, best to do it for Let's Play. And in hardcore mode, uh, if you don't know what it is, essentially it's like you have to manage your health and food and like fatigue and stuff like that and if you don't you'll, you're gonna get penalties okay now we're opened to the world and let's look at him kinda looks like a young Stalin a little bit oh well hi there howdy partner might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Uh, thanks, cowboy-faced robot. What the fuck is this guy? Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. 
Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I, um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Okay. Happy trails! Oh, I think, uh... Am I the only one? But, uh, that robot, uh, creeps the crap out of me. Also, I think it's an absurdly poor design to put a robot on one wheel. Anyway. So the, the starting for this game was not quite dramatic, uh, like in Fallout 3 where you were emerging from a birth canal. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Yeah, what do they call you, Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. But got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Yes, tell me about this Legion. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Where are these legionaries, and how can I join them? The machine? Harmless, no matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Alright, well thank you, Easy Keep your Pete. gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Let's talk to this uh, Sunny Smiles woman. Just you know, I'm gonna be a complete. A I'm gonna try the be my best to be a complete asshole the duration of this Cheyenne, let's play. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Um. Okay. Let's just get it off the table and deal with the elephant in the room. Do you or do you not have a mustache, Sunny Smiles? Because from where I'm sitting. It looks like you've got some kind of weird facial hair there, but I could be wrong. It could just be the shadows.